Hey, welcome to Passion to Automated Bees channel. My name is Ronald Shin. I'm a coach, I'm a course creator, and I'm software enthusiast. I love to automate my business. So today I'm going to talk about how you can turn your Facebook friend list into email list, all right? Now, it's not just about turning them into email list. I will show you how I leverage my friend, a Facebook friend list and treat them as email, email list and I will show you how you can turn these people into your buyers. You can actually uh, collect their emails at the same time. It's really good tips and tricks that if you are doing Facebook organic marketing in your business, it doesn't matter if you are uh, an affiliate marketer, it doesn't matter if you are a consultant or coach in this market, uh, this tip is going to help you some, get some idea how you can actually leverage Facebook organic marketing utilizing your Facebook friend list with DMs. Okay, so let's get into it, guys. Or, uh, but keep in mind that this video is not about showing you how to use something. Okay, this is how I'm going to show you the tips and tricks how you can leverage your Facebook friend list uh, with the uh, direct message. Okay, so uh, before we get started, uh, make try uh, make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel and give some thumbs up, and I'll be uh, I'll much appreciate that. Okay, so let's get into it, guys. So. If you see uh, this screen right now, this is my actual Facebook account. And let's get into uh, our friend list here, right? If you see on the left menu, uh, you will see that's friends, right? Going to the friends. Now, this interface will be a little different from your interface because I don't know why it's uh, Facebook works like this, but whenever I install uh, a CRM, Chrome extension, that's related to uh, Facebook marketing. And then this interface kind of changes. Uh, so always keep that in mind, but still same guys, okay? So now I'm gonna go into all my friend list guys, okay? So if you see here, I'm gonna move my screen right here. So on the left side, but you, uh, you know, Facebook changes their interface uh, very frequently. So I'm not sure how it's gonna look in your computer, in your laptop, but Right now, when I install uh, Chrome extensions, it, it, the interface changes, it's, it's, it's like this, all right? But it doesn't matter, guys, just follow through it, all right? So, say for example, um, these are all my friend list, guys, okay? I have about 3,000, little more than 3,000 friends in Facebook, and these people are, you know, when it's like this. Say, for example, um, if you are in online space doing, we call it high ticket marketing. High ticket marketing means uh, we are selling something that's very expensive, more than thousand thousand uh, dollars. And so, if you're an affiliate marketer uh, who are is doing high ticket, we call it high ticket affiliate marketing. Then you are getting like pretty much more than five hundred to maybe more than thousand dollar commissions. That's what we call it high ticket marketing. But the thing is. When you are selling something very expensive, like more than $1,000, it's a little different. The sales process becomes a little different. People are not gonna look at your funnel, your landing page, your website, whatever that is, or maybe your email. They're gonna click your link and they're gonna buy something from you. It never happens. We have to go into DMs, make sure you increase the perceived value of what you're selling, build a relationship in order for you to turn them into your high ticket buyers, okay? That's the process how it goes. So then how can we leverage our Facebook friend list that into our uh, email list, okay? What I'm saying is treat your fresh Facebook friend list as an email list. What it means is that, think about it. We own the traffic. That's why we call that email is the our assets, right? Collecting people's your 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 clients, your prospects email is one of the important job as marketers, right? We have to collect people's email every single day because we can send them anytime we want. It's, we own the traffic, right? That is why we call that email is the asset. But how does that work in Facebook? Actually, in your Facebook, your friend list is your assets. Because when you are doing a business, your Facebook friend list is not your actual friend. They're actual, your potential prospects. Or maybe there could be, there are, they could be your potential buyers too. So your Facebook friend list is like email list. I always treat my Facebook friend list as an email list so I can leverage that. So for example, now, um, we cannot collect these people's email right away from uh, Facebook, you know, just becoming a friend. Uh, we have to start, we, we start have to have some kind of uh, uh, conversations 
before we can actually collect their email, right? I will show you a very simple tip and tricks that you can actually apply it next day. So you can also uh, leverage this, okay? So uh, for example, here's the thing guys, before we get it more in deeper, make sure when you send a message to your friend, uh, your Facebook friend, um, always wait until they accept your friend request. For example, if you are sending out like messages directly to anybody in your Facebook platform, then it becomes spam. We are not here to spam people, okay? So always make sure before you send a message, make sure they become your friend first. Either you accept their friend request or they have to accept your friend request first so you can send them a message directly. Then it's not going to go into spam, okay? So now all these friends, once what I do is when all my Facebook friends becomes my friend list, uh, I usually send them all the greeting messages. Hey, thanks for accepting my friend request. How's your, uh, how's your day going? Or how's your journey going? I always send a message trying to build a relationship, right? So then if you see here in my um, messenger tab right here, right? There is a tons of people I'm having conversation with every single day, okay? Because that's our job. That's, that's part of our sales process. Um, so when I'm having a conversation like this, I try to organize my uh, friends, okay? If you see here, there's all different kinds of colors uh, on depending on uh, different people, right? Uh, when you open your messenger, you, you're not gonna say this. It will be very different because I'm using some kind of software. Now, you can actually do this manually or you can actually uh, utilize some kind of Chrome extension CRM to make your job easier. Okay, for me, I love to automate the whole business. That's why I always use some kind of CRM tools. So for example, this is the tool that I'm using right now to organize all my friend list, cold leads, warm leads, hot leads, and then buyers and follow, follow people. Yeah, I always organize people right here, right now. So I don't need to scroll down and look for the people, oh, who did I uh, made a conversation with yesterday, blah, blah, blah. Then what happens is if you lose your track of your people when you're having conversation, you will lose yourself. That happens all the time. You are literally wasting your time and you are losing yourself. So always trying to organize your uh, messenger, uh, your people who are having conversation with you right now, organize them, make sure you follow up them correctly so you can actually consistently make high ticket sales over and over and over again. So then how can we leverage this to actually um, think about it? If you start doing this Facebook organic marketing, it could be consulting business, coaching business, or high ticket affiliate marketing business, um, you, will, you if, after a couple months later, you will have about a couple hundred people you are talking to on your DMs, right? Then it's very hard for you to track people down, right? It's, it's very hard to follow up them. So that's why I'm using this uh, tool. Or what you can do is if you want to uh, do manually, you can still do it in Facebook. Facebook always gives that option too. If you come here, uh, you will see it says custom list, right? If you click this, you can actually create different, um, you know, different, okay, this is, uh, just make sure this, I'm not, I'm not using this uh, a feature here. I'm just giving a like, this is all for my educational purpose. This is, this is just the example guy, right? So you can actually create different kinds of things like hiders, right? Uh, then um, I can just use it here. I can also delete it if I want to, delete the list, confirm, right? And then you can create a new list, say for example, cold leads, like this and confirm, right? Then you will have cold leads. Yeah, so you can actually uh, just utilize Facebook to actually organize your friend list at the same time. But the problem is, problem is, okay, I'm gonna go, uh, oops, oops. Problem is you can actually organize your friend list, but you will have hard time organizing your messenger, people who are having conversation with, okay? It's very hard to organize this because Facebook doesn't have that feature. So you can either take a note, which what I did in the past was actually I was taking a note right here to <laughs> you know, organize my people who I'm talking to right now, right? Like cold leads, warm leads, hot leads, hot buyers, uh, follow up. Yeah, I wrote it down on my a note to uh, uh, follow up them. 
but it was very daunting, guys. So uh, after I started using this uh, very simple Chrome extensions, uh, my job became really easier. So if I show you here, okay, this is the Chrome extension. Now, just make sure I'm not here to show you how to use this software, okay? I'm going to make that video uh, in, in the next video, maybe some video later. But today is not about this software. I'm going to show you how I'm leveraging my friend, a Facebook friend list, turn that into email list, okay? So if you see here, I organize all these tags, right? Now, what happens is, for example, like, for example, uh, if hot leads, hot leads are people ready to buy something from me very soon so right now if you see there's seven people here right yeah seven people are ready to buy right now and there's warm leads 16 people now there's cold leads 51 people i can just click it say for example yeah then i can just come here i don't need to go into messenger tab scroll all the way down because you will have about a couple hundred people in your uh, messenger tab right here it's really really hard to uh, find you know, find who you are talking to. So for me, I come here, click this, and then I know who are call leads. And so I know I have to go back to these people and have a conversation and blah, blah, blah. It's very easy, guys. Okay. And also I can leave some kind of notes, same time. All right. So then how do I, I utilize this? It's like this. Uh, I use broadcasting. This is a, uh, uh, Broadcast means I can send bark of message at the same time to all my friend list. So, for example, if I create a uh, create a broadcast, means I'm gonna choose the tags. I'm going to choose uh, maybe cold leads, right? And then I'm going to choose tag, any gender, interval, maybe five minutes. Uh, what it means is that even though we are using this software, I don't want Facebook to know that I'm using some kind of automation tools. I face I want to show Facebook that it's like human being thing. So always make, uh, you know, like give some little time gap when you send out the message. And then you can select this and schedule in two minutes. No, I'm going to schedule later. You can also schedule when is the message that you want to send out. So maybe tomorrow, like a 9, 12 a.m., right? And then you can choose which label you want to do and select broadcast. And then what happens is this message will automatically send to all my friend list who I chose all these cold leads, right? All these cold people at once. What I mean is that something like this. I can make a one like different kind of, uh, uh, you can also make a different kind of um, segment messages and then you can randomize it. What it means is that then Facebook doesn't know that you are using bot because now it acts like a human being. So we can send the broadcast messages to all these friends and say, for example, hey, it's like, the, hey, guys, uh, I just updated my new training, free training. Uh, I just want to share with you uh, if you're really interested in this Facebook getting marketing training. I have a free training which I updated yesterday. I want to share it. Here it is. Here it is. Check it out. Blah blah. Yeah, I can send it out, guys. It's just like email list. Okay, then when they sign up, I collect their real email too. Okay, this is the how you do it. And sometimes you can also send out this broadcast message to all these people and say, hey, I'm running some kind of event. Would you like to join? Here's a link, uh, hop in, something like that. Yeah, so you, you don't need to actually send the email all the time, but you can also leverage this, treat it like email list to send the broadcasting message to all your Facebook friend who you are having conversation with, even though people who ghost you, people, even though people who, uh, you know, you know, doesn't really have a lot of conversation with you, but still you can leverage this to actually turn them into your leads, collect their email list. Maybe you can turn them into buyers or you can also invite them to some kind of event or webinar or challenge that you are running, or you can invite them into your Facebook group. You can do that by using this very simple tool okay so i hope that got you got some message uh you know understood what i was trying to convey with you today because trying to leverage your messenger all okay? right because if you are trying to talk to this think about it if you are say for example you have a, like some kind of free training that you want to give it out it's like you know we free training is providing a value but also it's like a collecting their email and their informations so we can actually nurture them so we can turn them into our buyers in the future. That's how the process goes. But you can do that manually here, but I bet you, you will have, you're going to waste a lot of time. You have to copy paste, copy paste to all your friends one by one, going into their uh, messenger one by one. It's very daunting, guys. So that's why 
if you are using this kind of software tool, if always leverage it. That's how I do it. So for example, hot leads, right? Say for example, warm leads. Say um, these people are pretty much, you know, having well, warm leads means like something like we are having really good conversation, something meaningful. We are talking about business. I'm listening to their pain points. I'm trying to provide a solution to them. They're asking me a lot of questions. Yeah, these are the warm leads. So what I'm doing is I'm actually, um, you know, what you can do is you can actually send them broadcast message like, hey, I just created a new free training. Would you like to check it out? Yeah, keep nurturing them. You don't, I mean, I can send email too, but I can just also send using this software tool to send the message directly because, you know, message is the fast way to people can actually, um, you know, they can actually get your message really quick, right? Because people are pretty much showing up on Facebook pretty much daily. So uh, you can do that. Uh, that's why I, that's why I utilize this uh, uh, Genius Messenger CRM. It's a very simple tool. It's very easy to use. Uh, so I use this every single day to actually collect email lists at the same time, um, invite them into my some kind of a, a workshop or events, and then also I send them my offers at the same time and so on. So I hope this is going to help you a lot. All right. So please, guys, always treat your friend list into, um, you know, your, treat your friend list like an email list. It's very important. Okay. Um, so, but as I said before, if you just, you know, become your friend and if you are not interacting with them, maybe having, not having any conversation with them and it's not, it's not going to work. Okay. So when you ask, when they accept your friend request or when you, when you accept your friend request and become a Facebook friend, please don't hesitate to send them a message. Okay. So always just talk like a human being. Hey, thanks for accepting my friend request. Happy to connect with you. How's your day going? Send a message right away, and then your messenger tab will be open, and you will see all here. Please do not delete the chat, okay? Always leave it there, okay? I think I have about more than 1,000, like almost like 5,000 tab is open right now since three years. I never, actually, I don't really delete the chat, okay? I always uh, leave it alone. So, um, so I organized it, and then I'm using this tab to actually send the bark email, uh, bark messages using broadcast this tab right here, this page, and then use broadcasting. And then I send bark uh, messages at the same time. So I also collect people's name and email pretty quick. That is, this is how I done it uh, since last year to actually collect lots of email lists. I utilize Facebook group and DM using this method to collect almost 3000 email lists in just one less than a year. 3,000 email lists, less than an email. Pretty cool, right? I didn't even do you. I didn't even do, do YouTube or TikTok or Instagram. Anything. Only using Face platform, still you can collect email lists really fast. Also, you can build a relationship really fast, and also you can actually uh, give them an offer or free trainings to keep nurture them a lot quicker. Okay, so always trying to utilize these kind of tools to make your job easier and automate it. So uh, it's, it will be very effective, guys. So uh, this tool is below the video. You can check it out. And then um, just make sure to subscribe to my channel, give some thumbs up, and always make sure, please remember, treat your Facebook friend list like an email list, right? And use this kind of very simple strategy and tips and tricks to collect email pretty quick Give them a free training, give them free offers, nurture them, and turn them into buyers. Okay? It works, guys, because I'm using it too. My students are doing it too. So uh, make sure to uh, try it out. Okay? I'll see you next video, guys. Thank you so much.